latest video so um, I've got a bit of something different to start off with so today's shop focus is going to be from this wonderful shop uh, Persephone's Boutique now um, the shop owner very kindly reached out and asked if I wanted to have a look at some of her um, stickers they're very much my aesthetic very much a bit goth a bit moon a bit witchy so they're all kind of based around that so yeah, um, I was very happy to be sent these. They arrived this morning, so I'm very, very happy to uh, to have received them. So thank you very much, much appreciated. But I thought I'd open them with you, so let's have a look. I mean, the first thing is this little um, demon emoji, and I think he's now, I think it is Demoji. There we go, I don't know if you can see that, the light's a bit. So yes, I'm excited, so let's have a look. So let's, I've no idea what's in here. She asked me what kind of things I liked. I did say I absolutely adored the. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to rip it. Oh, sacrilege. Okay, the, I did absolutely adore the, um, <laughs> the emojis. So wow. Well, this looks really exciting. So bear with me. Let me just have a quick look. So, oh, so we've got a really lovely little letter from, um, what's her name, sorry. Really lovely little letter from the owner of the shop. I'm sure her name's Angel. Yeah, Angel Persephone. So here we go, just lovely. She's given us a code. So we've got a code, um, if you put Marie, so M-A-R-I-E, that will give you 10% off your first order. So brilliant. Okay, so that's lovely. So there's a, a nice book. Let's have a look. It's really exciting. Let's see what we've got. Um, I'll put the information, I'll put the links, and I'll put the code at the bottom. Look at this fella. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's beautiful. Right. Okay. Oh goodness. I'm very excited. This is very much my kind of thing. I think this is going to become a favourite shop, most definitely. She's UK based. Um, I think she's fairly new. So yeah, so here we go. So we've got, let's move them across so I can show them you one at a time, you see better. So lovely um, Demoji. I love this cheeky little giggling devil. He's super cute. So it's a lovely vinyl sticker. And some lovely sort of pinky purpley foil. Again, emojis, a lot of different ones there. Oh, the, the, the giggling one is definitely, and oh, look at the wink. Amazing. Um, and there's an order freebie. I presume everybody would get those. Demoji mail, very cute. You're marking your planner when you've received that order. Brilliant. Okay, so let's have a look. Gosh, she sent me loads. Thank you, Angel. These are brilliant. Hang on, I'll make sure we get you in shot. So, these are Demoji Dating. Oh, don't know what the husband will say about that, but I'm sure we can use those for a couple's evening. Um, a Demoji Date Day. These are so cute. How many times am I going to say cute? Demoji Date Night. Flight trackers, oh that's really handy. Oh they're really cool. Don't have any plans to be flying anywhere but I'm sure we can adapt these for some reason. And um, planes, there's a plane going over just on cue, perfect. Almost like a plan that. Uh, emoji crystals, oh brilliant, oh look at this one. Love that. And then what are these? Grateful emoji. <laughs> I like the apple. <laughs> They're really, really cute. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we've got this lovely vinyl sticker of the little emoji guy with the crystals all around him. That is beautiful. That will definitely be going up in my new setup for the second half of my... Um, my Evec, my cousin Evec. So some lovely flags, pastel mini flags. Very cute. 
all with the different emoji faces oh and some neutral ones warm neutrals very nice cool neutrals these are beautiful and I've got to say the sticker paper is really lovely as well it's really um, really buttery very nice oh amazing full moons yeah it's another thing I like to track the faces of the moon very cute uh, and what are these okay so these are so I noticed I noticed on her site about these actually so she does a quite a lot of these different um, these different little kind of functional what are these called what are they called yeah you know what they are <laughs> but she does them in loads of different kind of crystal um, colors so this one's moonstone and this one's rose quartz fabulous mm, I like the chess one that's unusual I don't think I've ever seen one for chess before very nice like those and we've got some more um, moons moon names this is fabulous so blue moon dark moon super moon ice moon egg moon wow hay moon core moon core moon core moon, core moon barley moon so yeah so each of the different seasons each of the full moons do tend to have a different name so I'll have to look up the dates of those and make sure I put those in and then a lovely birthday one that's super cute too I really love him he's I think he's vastly becoming my favorite character he's he's just cheeky 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 okay and then she sent some bigger ones as well so these are some bigger sheets, so yeah, brilliant, so Demoji Head Sampler, that's cute, <laughs> I quite like that one, that one's cute, um, and yeah, this is us this week, all of us isn't it, dying in the heat, so they'll get used quite quickly I would imagine, oh, some more moon ones, brilliant, wolf moon, wind moon, thunder moon, again with all the names, love those love them um, some more bigger ones with the the moon names oh, I'm really happy with these it means I can use them in both my planners well all three I can use them in my journal as well so that'll be lovely oh fabulous and then some scripts so what does it say self-care scripts so this is really lovely chocolate treat day cheat day bit of a theme there that seems to be jumping out at me snuggle with pets take selfies bathrobe day listen to music crystal bath I like that really lovely those are fabulous and then an absolutely gorgeous let's see, is it A5 yeah so that's an A5 card sorry off camera again let me just bring you out slightly so you can see that in the floor there we go awakening absolutely gorgeous and there we go some information on the back um, if you will assume your desire and live there as though it were true no power on earth can stop it from becoming a fact Neville Goddard oh and then brilliant so it's all for manifestation so what I'm manifesting the date the moon phase your feelings and when that manifestation was realised that is really lovely brilliant very much my vibe this shop so Persephone's Boutique I will put all the details um, like I say down below um, thank you Angel I am absolutely chuffed to bits with these they are gorgeous um, and I'll definitely be using them in my spreads so thank you Okay, so thank you for watching the little introduction. Um, there are sti stickers from uh, Persephone's Boutique. Again, thank you so much to Angel. Um, so impressed with all of them. Um, definitely will be using them and I'm sure I will be back to buy more. As I mentioned, there is a, a discount code for you all to use for 10% off your first order. But I will put that information um, down below if any of you are interested. So, um, I do want to... Like I've said before, I do want to really focus on UK shops. Um, having said that, I have had my first Sterling Inc. Um, subscription come through this week. So um, I think I'm going to use that for 
setting up probably July in my AVEC. So we'll look at that. However, I have also ordered um, the subscription from Colour Cafe on Etsy, who's UK based. And that subscription is very similar to the Sterling Ink, very similar kind of style. I believe it's a very similar kind of paper, very similar kind of um, kind of aesthetic and you know set of a uh, subset. And also, I ordered yesterday um, Harriet Wright Designs August bundle, which again has a very similar kind of vibe. It seems to Sterling Ink. So what I'll do is I will do a setup with each of them and then I'll compare, we'll look at the prices of each of them and we'll have a look and see which we think is the better value including having to ship from the US. I did ship direct, I didn't use um, Stackery or anything like that, I never have. Um, anything I've bought from overseas I tend to, to ship direct. Doesn't mean that I wouldn't, it just depends, I just never seem to, I don't buy enough I feel from, um, from the US really to use stackery as yet but who knows um but yeah my focus i do want to focus mainly on uk shops so um particularly like around this one i think she's fairly new kind of just getting this um uh, demoji character so I just thought a really nice one to focus and i'm really happy to have received those so again angel thank you very much um i know a number of you have got a bit of a spoopy vibe going on so i'm sure you'll love them too so into this plan with me so what i thought i'd do is i thought i'd do exactly what i do on a weekend with my weekly in my um in my cousin i always call it my evec because it is the cousin evec so apologies if it's uh, confusing it is the evec it's the two um the two book one so this is actually the last month in this one and then we will be setting up for July moving forward for uh, in the new book but we can get that set up together as well I've got a few bits and pieces when I do a setup I don't tend to have a plan of what I'm going to do I just get lots of bits and pieces around me that I know I like and I just dip in and kind of go through and it's quite um could just kind of happens so <laughs> it's a no particular planning for for a planner i don't actually plan very much <laughs> in that kind of sense so this is as far as i got with uh, last week so this is the 5th to the 11th so not the week just gone um today's saturday by the way um this is the week before so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go through now my a6 which i've got every day in update this and then um, choose a kit to set up for the week just gone fill in what I can and then we can come back to that as well when I come to set up uh, for next time so let's get going so okay so um, this is the kit I've been using it's a uh, plan a lover by paper Shear, which I thought was quite a nice one so I'm just gonna prop my a6 in front of me it's just up here so I just look on day to day what I've done so I've pretty much filled in Monday and Tuesday so let me mark these off because I know I got these done at work so how's everybody been this week especially in the heat I have really struggled really struggled um, I'm not good in the heat anyway I'm not really a summer kind of person um, it's all well and good if you've got nothing you've got to do <laughs> and you can just sit and chill but um, but yeah so it hasn't been my favourite but you know it's okay it's nice to see the, some brighter weather but I'm happier today it's a little bit cooler than it has been so but I was quite poorly yesterday so had having Fridays off I think I explained in a previous video I work Monday to Thursday now and don't work on a Friday and then all day yesterday I had a stinking what I'm presuming is probably like a, a low grade migraine and oh dear I was just not a good day yesterday at all not good for me really not fun okay so the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add in my sleep because that is one thing I can check from my phone and go back 
Um, because this is the week before, I won't be tracking the rest because I hadn't done it on a, a day to day basis. So that's my fault. Uh, let's go back and have a look and just put my sleep in so at least we've got that. So I use Fitbit. I do have, um, have a Galaxy watch as well. Um, so it just depends what I feel like wearing at any given time as to how I'm tracking. So the 5th, so that was, oh we've done that one, so Monday, Tuesday, so it's Wednesday, so that's the 7th. So that's 7 hours 53, so it's 7 and a half. And then Thursday is the 8th. Okay, so I didn't, I mustn't have had my watch on on the 8th, so I haven't got a reading for that. So last Friday, which is the 9th, that was, gosh, nine hours. Well, I obviously had a lot in, not being in work. Well, that was nice. The 10th, 8th, Sunday was, oh gosh, that wasn't a good one. Five and a half hours. Okay. So, it's the only thing if I don't think to go back. Whereas um, this week I have transferred this over into my A6 because I do look at that pretty much daily. I do think I've got a couple of days to catch up with, but at least I can. I have a rough idea of how I felt the last couple of days. So, okay, so let's have a look where are we? Tuesday the 6th. Okay, so we had some, um, okay, so we've done those, they're added. Okay, so we had some happy mail that day, so I had some t-shirts from Boohoo. So has anybody seen the t-shirts that they're doing on Boohoo Men? They're really lovely oversized t-shirts but they're like um, character things. So I've now got, I've got a Powerpuff Girls one, I've got a My Little Pony one and a Care Bears one and they're just so, so cute. So absolutely love them. They're lovely, they're big and they're a light, um, a really light cotton. I mean, they're probably not cotton, a really light material, and they're um, really, really kind of, yeah, light and easy to wear and oversized, that's the, that's what I was saying. Uh, order. And I made myself some clear Happy Mail stickers. So we'll use one of these. So I found some, I've made clear stickers before and they haven't been very good um, because I don't use a, a laser printer and obviously then, but I think because it's been warm, I did these on my, um, I think it's an inkjet, is it an ink, inkjet? I did these on my standard printer. I've got um, just a HP printer. And I don't know if it's because it's so warm and it dried really quickly, but they've come out really well. Really pleased. So I did, it was just some basic clear sticker paper from Amazon. And uh, yeah, they've, they've really pleased with them, so they've come out well, so that's good. So, okay. Anything else happened on that day? So I also I ordered some bits and pieces from ASOS as well for for work. Just some plain t-shirts and also an ASOS return from my son as well. Which I still haven't sorted. Bad mom. Although he's old enough to do it himself to be fair, but hey ho. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much all that happened on that day. Nothing exciting at all. So let's have a look at Wednesday. So 
who memory plans do you memory plan do you plan ahead do you do you just pre-plan do you just do it as you go along how do you how do you work what do you what planners do you use what are your favorites i've always struggled with ring planners i've never really been able to get on with using rings i'm not quite sure why um i bought a few and tried in fact one of my first planners i ever had was a kiki k and that was a rings one um but yeah i've no idea i've just never been really i prefer a bound book so i don't know okay so my son had his uh, maths exam, his second of three, which all being well, he keeps coming back and saying he's done really well and it was easy. So we're thinking and hoping that he's absolutely smashed them. He's done them a little bit later because we homeschooled him. We pulled him out in year seven just due to anxiety and that kind of thing. So he was homeschooled through there and then we did an extra year and we were working on the GCSE curriculum but didn't do the exams and then he went to college um, this year um, from last September and did a computing level one and he's done his GCSE maths and English along with that and he, he's just absolutely smashed it so really proud of him so he's done so well I'm hoping he's going to come out with fives which is an old school B, I believe, which, um, yeah, I only got C in maths. I got B for English, but I got C for uh, for maths, so I keep telling him he's got to get that five so that he can actually beat me and have the, uh, have the highest uh, maths grade in the house. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. Nothing really happened there. Um, I'm going to put a hump day sticker in because I just I love to mark a hump day. So let's go to my scripts. And I know I've got some little ones from Erin at Silent Beauty Plans. I think I mentioned these before. Absolutely love these little ones. Um, she's got a flash sale on as well this weekend. She's got, um, I think she's doing 25% off everything in the shop. So yeah, go along and, uh, and say hello. So that's this weekend. So today is the, oh my goodness, I'm so bad with dates. So today is the 17th. So um, yeah, 17th of June. So yeah, go along and uh, tell her I sent you and go and make the most of that 25% uh, that off. Especially for these. I think they're £1.50 a sheet. So, what would that be? I don't think my maths is going to work today. My brain's still a bit fuzzy from my headache yesterday. Where are my tweezers? I'll leave that there, just in case we need any more, because I'm sure we will. So, let's pop down a hump day. Everything's going to fall. Do we have something to put on the back here? Let's use a little flag. Let's get a vanilla flag. Oh, that's a long one. Never mind. That's quite cute. She's winking. I do love vanilla. Oh, she's winking. Ah, the same one there. But it's cute. There we go. So, that's the seventh. I need to find a better way of holding these pages open. Okay, so, and also then I'm just going to make a quick note. I had an uncomfortable night. Uncomfortable night. Sore belly and anxiety. They usually go hand in hand for me. If I'm anxious, then my tummy's usually a bit not great either. Okay, so that's Wednesday. So Thursday, I haven't actually put anything, so that's really helpful. So first to the eighth, obviously, I I know exactly what that was. It was a really busy I was day. Just saying that on a um, on the Thursday this week, it was just a really busy day at work. It was month end, and I was just totally busy. The systems were playing up, so I just didn't have a lot of time to mark anything down. So I just marked that it was a really busy work day, 
And then I just um, started mentioning Friday. So since I haven't been working Fridays, I've been catching up with a couple of my local planner friends. So Erin from Silent Beauty Plans, she comes over along with our other friend Amanda, who comes along and we have a lovely catch up on a Friday. We weren't able to do it yesterday because I was feeling so rubbish and I was just scared that in case I had a bug I didn't want to pass anything on. But yeah, definitely a hormonal headache I think, which I'm sure I'll get used to. So yes, yeah, so, but last Friday the night we had a lovely catch up, yeah, and they both came round and it was lovely. So I was just going to have a look for, I do have some, I'm not sure if they're here or whether they are in my folder. I think I have some coffee in here, they're going to be in the folder, bear with me. Da, 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 da. So I think I have some Coffee Monster Co. Planner Meat stickers. So let's have a look. Here they are. It's Planner Meat Up, but they are just little ones so just two and there's one on their own there so what i'll do is because there's three of us i'm gonna put the two and then one of these because it just says meet up on that one and there we go i don't know which is which <laughs> erin and amanda if you're watching you'll have to decide which one's each of you um lovely mini me with erin and amanda and my girlies. There we go. Um, so, there we go. So, anything else on that Friday? Let's have a look. I did have a huge sleep as well. <laughs> Having turned up and I was actually fast asleep. <laughs> Apparently I need these Fridays off just to, uh, to sleep recently. So, we'll leave it at that for now. brilliant so Saturday uh, so Saturday was actually the day I went live with the channel so it was my first day so that definitely needs marking doesn't it I know this is more around movies but I think it would be quite put it across both because I did do a video on Sunday as well as Saturday so I started my YouTube channel and I made myself some a little stickers of my character that Emma from Planning Spo Create has made for me that's in my uh, in my intro so we'll pop her over here and then a little version of my planner over there <laughs> they look super cute Does anybody else do their own bits and pieces as well? You know, buy from shops. I like to have a, a mix. I like to buy from physical shops and get physical sheets and to be able to have all those different kinds of papers and things like that. But I also really enjoy um, getting printable kits and, and making my own as well. I particularly like making scripts. I will buy scripts, um, but I do like to... Um, I like to have a mix because I like to spend my money with the small businesses and to help support them but you know I like to do my own bits and pieces as well but I love digital and things that I can print off myself just love to have that that um, that flexibility to be able to do that and I think having the having the silhouette I've just got a portrait I've had one a number of times I've bought it and sold it and bought it and sold it um but yeah I think I've learnt my lesson now I'll keep hold of it because I do tend to always go back to doing some of my own I went through a little stage of just digitally planning on my iPad and I thought that was going to cut it for me but it didn't I soon had to come back to paper I think we all do don't we if we love stationery we love stationery then digital is never going to quite be quite be enough so that was really exciting so yeah it's i just want to thank you all for coming along and having a look and subscribing already kind of like 36 subscribers in my first week i'm pretty blown away by that and um really chuffed so thank you all um appreciate it and to you know 
already have that opportunity to be able to showcase um, that shop for Persephone as well. Just yeah, just feel really uh, really grateful for that. So thank you all. Um, so yeah, so this day I did my introduction video. And I filmed it, and I can't spell filmed, edited, and uploaded. Oh, yep, can't spell what's going on. That is not a spell uploaded. I mean, it, Marie. Well, I messed those up, didn't I? Um, thankfully, I have ordered some stickers. <laughs> um, I ordered some this week. I think I got them from. I want to say Little Bloom Papery, I ordered some scripts because um, I have gone back and ordered some more of her journal kits because they're just amazing so that's exciting. And then on this day I did my first plan with me in my A6 with a shop focus for Overlow Feelings. So if you haven't watched that, pop back and give it a watch. Um, myself and uh, Georgina would really appreciate that. And if you pop along to um, Georgina's shop as well. She's doing um, a charity bundle at the moment to raise money for a hospice. That um, her mum spent her last few days in, I believe. And she's doing a, a walk again to raise funds. So yeah, if you pop along and get that charity bundle, it's absolutely beautiful. Some lovely stickers there. But all of the money goes completely to the cause as well so it's a really good a really nice little way to uh, to support to support georgina with that so that's pretty much it for my week um saturday and sunday were pretty much taken up with working out how to film and, and edit and yeah really enjoying that learning process as well so that's really exciting so let's pop a bit more deco in so i've got a few more stickers left and i've got some space so some parcels so let's have a look so we'll pop this where are we going to put it let's pop it over here um i honestly don't mind going over the washi at the bottom i just think it adds a bit more interest to the uh to the page this one's really cute but I think I want to put this that way where can we fit this in hmm I'm not sure we can okay let's leave that because I don't want to overload I think this one as well probably isn't gonna fit I don't think I've left any space for these at all I I really let's put the pens in Let's add the pens because why not? Do we have favourite pens, guys? My favourite at the moment is this Sarasa that I'm using. It's um the multi pen. You can buy the refills. I got this from. Um, Gretel Creates at uh, the meet that I went to but she does have them on her website and what I really like is you can choose the colours so it comes with a red um, so you kind of stuck with that but that's fine because it's a really nice red anyway I added a pink, a teal green, a black and then what's really nice um, about this one is as well you can put a pencil in so I just really love having the pencil and everything in one but other than that, my other favourite at the moment is a blend. I love the blend pens. So they're rather nice. So a blend and a cleaner. But yeah, I tend to always go back to Sarasas. I just love the, the different um, the different colours, the different kind of nib widths and things like that. So, so right here what I need to mark there actually is so no I don't I'm a lawyer that was for the following week so that's fine that's week just gone and I think that's pretty much it so I think that 
finishes up for for that week. I didn't keep on top of my highlights for the day. Um, I will probably go back and have a think about that and see if I can think of something for it for each day. Looking back in both of them, um, disappointed with myself that I didn't keep on top of my tracker because it is difficult. Like I say, sleep I can go back and add, but the others not so much. So that's a bit annoying. However, that has now moved into my A6, so that will be easier to keep on top of. So just um, decided to split this video into two, otherwise it's going to be a bit too long. So just moving on to next week. So I'm going to pop that in a different video for you to have a watch. So thanks again for watching. Take care.